Hey guys, Spartan117GW here. We're going to be starting a new series called The Armory, where basically I'm going to pick a weapon from my personal bunch of guns, but Armory, and we're going to talk about it a little bit, just so you guys can kind of see what I have, what I'm decking it out with, um, and just kind of get a better in insight on you know my Armory, the guns that I use at the field, because I have quite a few guns that I use. Uh, going over this particular baby, now I've actually had this one for quite a while, and there was a period of time where I didn't really get a chance to use this gun since like 2010. I know, right? That's like three, four years of basically not enough time to use it. I, I noticed that for a while it was kind of shooting a little wonky. It wasn't, the, you know, well, just the seal wasn't good and everything. I'm not like a super tech, so I couldn't really work on it myself. Well, but finally being able to come back to California, I got this, uh, this gun fixed up and ready for the fight. Big thanks to AEX for that one. But um, yeah, going about the classic army, LWRC M6A2. Now this is the original version. Some of the newer ones kind of they kind of changed the color of the the metal body, which was kind of odd. But this was the original one that came out when they first released the LWRC. Has the blowback feature. Pretty cool to be honest. Um, you know that was one of the big things when it first came out. As you can see, uh, let's just go over some of the external enhancements that I put on here. PTS 1.5 battle comp on here. Uh, definitely like the way this thing looks. Of course, you know, like an airsoft, you can kind of take your, uh, your. I'm trying to think of a better way to say it, but basically, you can you have a little bit of freedom of what you want to mount in your gun. You know, nothing has to be quite one to one with everything that you use real steel. But yeah, the 1.5 looks pretty awesome on this gun, so I threw it on there. Uh, it has a, I think, I believe, is a Troy style front sight. Uh, I think this is the sight that actually came with the gun. Um, so this one's actually been pretty tried and true. Some of the other sights out there kind of, the break <laughs> essentially. From what you can see also, I have the Go Gun PTS gas pedal. Definitely really nice. I've actually been using this combo of grip with you know any kind of stubby vertical grip. Here we have a uh, RVG or rail vertical grip uh, by PTS. And I basically use that combo here just to kind of have a nice, kind of a nice grip right here where I use the thumb to really apply pressure on the gas pedal. Um, I also have a peck box on here. This just has a little laser light combo. Um, I actually have to adjust it a little bit because the laser is blocked a little bit by the front sight So I'm gonna be playing around with different combinations, maybe even change up the front sight completely So I have a little bit more use out of it, but right now it's just kind of on there just because it looks cool I have a kind of a different variety of uh, rail covers on here from XTM, ladder, and uh, I believe there's the Magpul texture uh, rail covers on there But they all look pretty cool, but I have a couple different ones on there uh, I guess I couldn't make up my mind, but this thing's really cool. If you can get them, buy them. This is the AMP Red Dot. If you guys didn't know, I was the one that recommended to Level Cap to use this optic. And you know, just like he and I have talked about, pretty much almost every other optic I've had that's a Red Dot that I've used in close quarters has pretty much gotten shot out. Save this one might because it has a kill flash. And what I like about the uh, kill flash is it's really going to protect your optic. You know, some companies will replace the optic for free, but at the same time, that's a lot of trouble that you're going to be going through just to, to replace an optic. Um, this one is nice, it's simple, it works, it's a nice red dot, it looks pretty cool, has a nice little lever locking system, so if you can find these, definitely get them. Uh, I think GI had one, Airsoft Extreme has one that's pretty similar, but they're out there on the market, you just gotta find a local retailer that'll pick it up. Of course, M-Bus sights in the rear, and we have the ACS stock. Just because I'm, I'm a kind of a crane stock guy, and with the advent of lipo buffer tube batteries um you, you you can take a lot of different stocks and use them now i mean people running ctr and mo I mean, back in the day it was like you had to have a crane stock with the, the big giant nikad nymph batteries whatever but now it's great because you have just have the buffer tube lipo so you can pretty much do whatever you need to do and uh oh and i also got my ad uh ad my ad on here but just so you, so you guys can check out this is some of the blowback feature i also kind of polished the bolt just a little bit so it actually looks pretty cool um Personally, like originally, it was kind of a dark metal color, but since I was on the East Coast, the, the humidity out there kind of started to make it like rust a little bit. So I ended up polishing it and making it look kind of nice. As you can see, it kind of has the standard class current hop of unit in there. I may or may not switch it out, but I didn't really have a problem with it. Um, AEX actually threw in a 6.02 garter barrel, which is kind of like their new standard for their type of barrel when they uh, up upgrade guns, essentially which is pretty cool. So I was actually getting a pretty good range out of this when I was using this HSP. Pretty good rate of fire too. There's an 11.1 AEX buffer tube lipo battery in there. But overall, this is a pretty awesome gun. I've had this for a while. It's been out of commission and I've basically finally uh, got it revived by the guys over there. 
um, and definitely having a blast because it's really nice to take this gun out and use it again. The last time I used it was like 2010 at Extreme Combat in North Carolina, so really great gun. I personally like it a lot. Um, you know, there's always a bunch of really great upgrades. I've seen some really amazing LWRCs out there on the field, but this one I definitely, uh, I definitely like. It. It's kind of got a little bit of a warfighter look to it. Uh, but make sure you guys check it out. This is the LW, uh, LWRC by Classic Army. There's only a few of them left on the market, so if you can find them, pick them up because they're pretty cool guns. Uh, but make sure you guys check it out and uh, make sure you guys comment, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you guys want to see more from my personal armory. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan 117 GW. I'm James C. Burns, I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BB, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.